welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, we'll do my Copa America predictions. Now, I know the scheduling this is pretty bad because later tonight we're going to have matches, but I've just been busy. You know, I, I just was on a huge member stream earlier today, so I had to be there, of course. Uh, but yeah, like I said, guys, it's just, I just, I, it's just been so busy these last couple of days. But um, at least it's better late than never. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So let's start with the first game we got here. It's RG versus Canada. This is a this is a this is an interesting match because Argentina I have not really been convinced with them in this Copa America so far. Canada, on the other hand, have been playing really well. I think Canada come into this game playing so well. I'm interested to see if Canada have improved from that game and what they have learned from that game, right? Because we saw how good Canada was against Venezuela. We saw how good like Canada have played really well this Copa America. I I don't think they've had a bad game. Maybe that game against Peru was a bit shaky, a bit eh, because like, they kind of had to rely on, you know, Krapu coming up clutch, making those saves, and maybe the red card also benefited them. But I still think Canada come into this game with a slight chance. I think for Canada to pull this off, they have to score first. I'm interested to see if RG could come back. Let's put it this way. Hypothetically, because here's the thing, guys. I think it's going to come down to that first goal. If RG has scored the first goal, I think the game is almost over. Now, I'm not saying that because I don't have any respect for Canada. No, I just genuinely believe that if RGS score first, it will be, they, they will probably win this. Now, I know people are going to bring up, what about the game against Ecuador? Because RG looked very unconvinced in that game, and yes, they had to rely on penalties. I believe RG will learn from that game. I believe RG will learn from that game and understand that they can't go sit back as deep as they did against Ecuador. And I feel like against a Canada team that can hurt you in transition, I feel like RG will learn their lesson. This will be a very cagey game. I don't expect a lot of goals because both defenses have been relatively solid for the respective teams. I just think RG have too much class. I just think RG have more difference makers in the team. But let me just say this right now, though, guys. If Canada do win this game, we might have to have an emergency hangout. We might have to have an emergency stream. <laughs> I might have to do an emergency stream if this happens because this will be one of the biggest upsets of all time in Copa America history. Biggest upsets. And I want to see it happen. Because I am technically some part Canadian, so it, I would be shameless. <laughs> I would be shameless if that happens. But realistically, we all know Argino will win this game. Most of us know Argino is going to win. And I actually think it will be a very tight game, guys. I actually think it's going to be a 1-0 win for Argentina. I think this will be a close game. I just think Argino for me are just better. But let me just say this right now, man. You can't write off Canada. You can't write off Canada. And if Canada do pull this off, it will be the one of the craziest upsets of all time. Moving on to Uruguay versus Colombia. This is a big one. Huge matchup. This is a matchup that can go either way. And when you look at the head-to-head -head record, it's been so even. I believe the last couple of times has always been a draw. It's always been a draw, 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 draw. Both these teams are around the same level. For Uruguay in particular, though, what I worry for them is that Araujo injury. That Araujo injury is bad. And they're now going to have to start Jose Maria Jimenez. Now, Jose Maria Jimenez is a quality defender. But the guy is not as good as Araujo. I would actually say Araujo is better right now. Obviously, all time, Jose Maria Jimenez is obviously, uh, well, yeah, I mean, all so, like, the guy is injury prone. The guy is injury prone. Jose Maria Jimenez has obviously proven it more for the last couple of years. But as a current right now in 2024, I would say Araujo is probably better. And for Uruguay, though, that Nandes, in, that Nandes suspension, because obviously Nandes will be suspended because he got a straight red card against Brazil. Uruguay, I just haven't been convinced of them off offensively. That's where I have my biggest issues with Uruguay. Because midfield-wise, defensively, they've been pretty good. It's just that attack is why I really worry for Uruguay. It's because I just I just don't really think, I just don't really know if Nuna's going to show up. And I know people are going to bring up to me, what about Pelestri? What about Araujo? The wingers? I just, I feel like the wingers are decent, but I don't really rate the wingers that highly. I think Colombia, for me, have better wingers. James Rodriguez has been fantastic. I would actually say, He's probably player of the tournament. Player of the tournament, I would actually go as far as that. He has been cooking. He's been cooking, guys. He's been absolutely sensational. Probably the best player of the Copa America. Then you got Luis Diaz. They've got uh, Cord Cordoba as well. I really like Colombia's attack. Colombia's attack is very good. Midfield wise, Lerma will be back for suspension, which I, choose, which I think will be a huge boost for Colombia. And this will be a tight game, guys. This will be such a tight game. Colombia's always been a team that's nearly missed out. They've always been a team that just nearly missed out on making the, the, the final. Remember, this was the same team that lost RG on penalties the last Copa America after Luis Diaz dragged them through. 
Uruguay, they haven't tasted a semi since 2011. This is insane. So for Uruguay, it's going to be tough, guys. It's going to be tough. I actually think Colombia's going to win. I actually think Colombia's going to win. I got Colombia to win. I'm going to say, do I go in pens or on regulation? You know what, guys? I'm going to go Colombia on regulation. I was just about to go for pens, but I'm going to go Colombia on regulation. I just I just think Colombia's going to do this, um, and I think they'll do this, guys. I, and I think they'll make it to this year's Copa America final. I've just been more convinced with Colombia at the moment. Colombia just looked more resurgent to this team. They look more cohesive, more well-established. Uruguay, I've just not really been convinced with them and the games that they – against quality teams, like against Brazil, USA, they didn't really look that great. And – Worldwide, man. Prove me wrong, man. Prove me wrong. Whatever the case may be, though, it'll be a great semifinal. So I hope you guys did enjoy this prediction video, guys. Uh, please let me know any major talking points in the comment section below, guys. And yeah, like I said, guys, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.